今日はアブラハムに注目したいと思います。旧約聖書に親しんでいらっしゃる方はよくご存知だと思いますが、この人のことはあまり聞いたことがない人はぜひ旧約聖書の一番最初の本、創世記を読んでみてください。神様に従った人です。In a nutshell, Abraham was a man who followed God. まだ自分の先がはっきりしないけれども、神様の言葉を信じて歩んでいった人です。And he's somebody who followed God even though、um, it wasn't as though he knew everything that was going to happen in his life. It wasn't, his life plan wasn't particularly clear, and yet he trusted. 生まれた場所、生まれた町を離れた神様の言われることに従って出て行った人です。He fall, uh, he left his、um, homeland,、uh, the place of his birth, and followed、uh, to the land where God directed him. そしてこれからお話しますけれども、惜しみなくすべてのものを捧げた人でした。And as you'll find out from today's sermon, he was someone who gave、uh, freely of everything he had to God. そのことによって素晴らしい祝福を受けました。And this resulted in great blessings for him. それはアブラハムだけにとどまらずにその子供やその子供やその子供やそして今や全ての世界中に広がった人々の祝福につながっているそんな人です最初に17節と18節を読みます。信仰によってアブラハムは試練を受けたとき、イサクを捧げました。つまり約束を受けていた者が一人子を捧げようとしたのです。この一人子については、イサクから生まれる者があなたの子孫と言われると言われていました。He who had received the promises was about to sacrifice his one and only son, even though God had said to him, It is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. この元になる話は創世紀の22章に書かれているお話です。The story that、uh, this passage is referring to is found in Genesis 22. Abraham は本当にもうおじいさんになるまで子供を恵まれなかった。Abraham was not、uh, given his son Isaac until he was very, very old. But previously, God had promised that his descendants、uh, would be great and that they, there would be many descendants. And so it seemed for Abraham for most of his life that this promise was. was Bordering on the impossible since he didn't have any children. ここ he, was, he was older than anybody in this room. And so, in, in this sort of impossible situation, he was given a son, Isaac. Um, and, and to Abraham's great surprise, and as it's surprising to us, God asked Abraham to sacrifice,、um, to offer his son Isaac as a sacrifice. I wonder if anybody really finds this story a, a very happy one or one that they like to listen to. For many people, this is definitely not their favorite Bible story. It's almost like the kind of story that you don't want to you know, share with your、uh, non Christian friends. <laughs> how, how do you explain something like this? But if you look at the Bible as a whole, God is not a God who ever sacrificed, actually sacrificed human beings for his purposes. Abraham is a s h i e In this story, he was giving Abraham sort of a test of faith. But 
Um, and, and we still sort of look at that and think, well, you know, good for him, but I, I really hope that never happens to me. That sounds like a horrible test of faith. But last week we touched on what it is that helps us grow in our faith. Suffering often helps us grow. God wanted Abraham to grow and to become stronger in faith. And this was because Abraham's sort of faithfulness would result in blessings for uh, the next generation and beyond. And Abraham sort of met this test of faith. And I think it's uh, accurate to say that because he met that test, uh, we experience the blessing that God has promised to him. So when God commanded Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac, um, Abraham, counting on and believing in God's record of faithfulness um, up to that point in his life, really did not... Um, Stop until God commanded him to stop right before he was about to kill Isaac. So for Abraham, because he had received the promise that his descendants would come through Isaac, he was convinced that even though, even if, uh, perchance, Isaac had died on that spot, um, that somehow God could bring him back to life, and that um, his descendants would surely come through Isaac, as had been promised. So Abraham was, was pretty convinced of God's ability to do that. I'm wondering why we find ourselves struggling with this story when it seems that Abraham um, was sort of clear about what he needed to do and was satisfied with uh, what he had to do. I wonder why we find this unpleasant. I think this is because of uh, sort of a trait or a characteristic that we each have. Uh, sometimes I, I talk about uh, this in my sermons, but in our house we have one uh, little black cat. And she uh, recently got a toy that she really enjoys. And it's something that uh, obviously like I purchased for her. She didn't go out and buy it. I got it for her. <laughs> she didn't save up and go to the store and buy it. I got it. And so I bought it and provided it to her. I ordered it from Amazon. And so even though I gave it to her, if I take it away, she gets angry. And, she, and she's little, and you know, she can't do anything to me, but she still tries to um, intimidate me. So cats and dogs sort of have that uh, tendency to be very possessive. But I think that it's true that we have that exact same characteristic. Once we um, have something in our possession, we feel like it belongs to us. And so even if God asks for it, we feel like, even though he's the one who's given it, we feel like we can't give it back because it's now ours. So we have this habit of thinking uh, that things belong to us when they really belong to God. And I think that as we acknowledge that everything um, God created everything and that everything belongs to Him. We really experience uh, true freedom. The reason why we have anything at all that we currently have is because 
God saw that we had a need and God provided. そうでなくなれば神様は取り去ります。And when we don't have that need anymore,、uh, God is also free to take that away. God is well aware of everything we need、uh, for survival and for and to thrive, and He provides in His time. しし But we also need to be aware that those things all belong to God, and that, again, He takes them away、um, as He sees fit. でこのことを認めるときに私たちは本当に豊かなものになることができます。今持っていないという不満から解放されます。We can be free from、um, sort of、uh, being dissatisfied by what we don't have. 多くの人は持っているから幸せだ。あの人は持っているから幸せだ。私は持っていないから不幸せだと考えるんです。A lot of people look at Other people who have what they want and think, well, they're happy because they have, you know, X thing. And I would be happy if I had that same thing. But even if somebody has everything that we ever wanted,、uh, they, they are also sort of not living in freedom if that's sort of in their possession. Because they have the fear of losing what it is that they have. But knowing that everything belongs to God and that we're given things freely, but that we also、um, have things taken away、um, in God's time,、um, we can live very freely. そしてこのような人々の間では、あそういうわけですね。そういう必要がないんです。That way, um, this, uh, little, uh, でも、私がそんな偉そうに言わなくたって、皆さんそうだということを知ってらっしゃいますよね。I think we all sort of know this to, to some degree or more. 理屈では。And it definitely it sounds logical. 一般論としては、命の長さだって、自分だって、I think in our heads we're aware that you know, we, we don't have control even over how long we live. But we're often shocked and dismayed when things that we value, objects that we value, people that we value are taken away and, that, and we can't see them anymore. なぜなら私たちはこの目に見える世界しか知らないからです。I think this is because we really are only familiar with what is visible, the world around us that's visible. でも私たちクリスチャンは聖書を信じてるんじゃなかったでしょうか。But as Christians, don't we, aren't we aware of another reality? 神様の目から見れば私たちが生きている数十年、あるいは百年というのはほんの一瞬に過ぎないんだと聖書は教えます。The Bible teaches that the sort of our lifetime,、uh, Whether it be a hundred years or several decades,、um, is really but a blink of an eye for God. There's a better place that God is preparing. Abraham was sort of the beginning of, of God's blessings Abraham was sort of the beginning of God's blessings being poured out on generation after generation. あるいは自分の一人息子でさえも実は自分のものではないということを知っていたんです。私たちは平成に考えられるときにそのことをよく考えてみる必要があると思います。私たちは平成に考えられるときにそのことをよく考えてみる必要があると思います。私たちは平成に考えられる私の子供たちはご覧のようにもうすっかり大人になってしまいましたけれども。Uh, my two children are a grown up. <笑>この小さい時に何度も私は考えました。But I often、uh, thought about this、uh, when they were little. もし神様の計画がそうであるならば自分が生きている間にこの子供たちが取り去られることもあるのだなと。And I thought about the possibility that these children 
who are clearly younger than I am, could ta be taken away、um, while I am still alive. 私がこのアブラハムの話を嫌いなのは、この話を聞くとそういうことを思い起こすから。And the reason why I sometimes feel a little bit uncomfortable with the story of Abraham is because I'm reminded of、um, sort of my own kids when I read about the story. And so every time I thought about that, I, I had to remind myself that for me, I can only sort of be aware of what is visible. But that I believe in sort of in eternity, in something beyond this life. And I also believe that God has a good plan for each, each person. And so, unless I sort of.、Uh, Know this truth and live this truth, it's, it's hard to sort of preach about it、um, in front of other people. My wife and I often talk about how our kids are not our possessions. And they were simply people that God entrusted us to care for until they were of age. And that's, that's what children、um, are in our lives. 教会に来ている子供たちは将来、神様にいろいろな方法で用いられるでしょう。I'm、uh, hopeful that the children who attend our church will be used by God in many ways、um, as they grow up. だから私たちには彼らに祝福をバトンタッチしていく責任があるんです。And because of that, we have a responsibility to pass on God's blessings to each of these children. その意味で、アブラハムは私たちの手本です。And so in that sense, Abraham is our example. 19節を見てみましょう。アブラハムは神が人を死者の中から一回出せることもおできになると信じたのです。それで彼はイサクを返してもらいましたが、それは死者の中から返してもらったも同然です。アブラハムは神が人を死者の中から一回出せることもおできになると信じたのです。それは死者の中から返してもらったも同然です。アブラハムは神が人を死者の中から一回出せることもおできになると信じたのです。それは死者の中から返してもらったも同然です。アブラハムは神が人を死者の中から一回出せることもおできになると信じたのです。ある人はそれは経済的なことだと考えています。Some people automatically think about money and about financial,、uh, financial wealth. ある人は体が健やかであったり、あるいは子供がたくさん与えられることが祝福だというふうに考えています。Other people, upon hearing about blessings, think about、um, health or well-being or about having lots of children. 社会的な成功を収めることが祝福だと考えます。Other people think that sort of having some kind of a status in society is a blessing. I think we need to understand that those, none of those things, as good as they are, are the essence of blessing. Because I can say this because there are many people who don't have a lot of the things that we consider、uh, to be a part of blessing, whether it's finances or, or status, who were、uh, truly blessed. Before Jesus was born, his mother Mary,、um, upon visiting her, her cousin Elizabeth, was told that she was blessed among women. てて But let's pause and think about Mary's life. Scholars think that she lost、uh, her husband Joseph、um, while her children were very young. And so after that point, her, her firstborn, Jesus, was,、um, was somebody she could depend on. And even Jesus was taken away at a, a younger age, relatively speaking, of 30, and was,、um, was uh, executed. So how is she blessed? Um, let's look at Jesus' life. Elizabeth was Mary, and I'm not going to tell you that 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 I'm not going to tell
Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth told her that, you know, blessed is the child in your womb. And Jesus wasn't blessed in the conventional sense. He didn't have a family as far as marriage. He didn't own a house. Um, and, and, and even he himself said, you know, foxes have dens and, and birds have their nests, but I don't have a place to lay my head. I wonder if you think the Apostle Paul was somebody who was blessed. I think a lot of Christians think yes. I, I think he's sort of a model of blessing. And yet he was sick most of his life. And he was, he was celibate, so he didn't have a family. And he didn't own a house. Oh yeah, and he was murdered. And yet, each of these examples um, sort of model for us the essence of a blessed life, of blessing. This came from the fact that they knew that everything belonged to God. They knew that everything we have is on loan from God. And this is the kind of faith that freely and joyfully gives whatever God asks us to give. And um, a faith that acknowledges that the Lord gives and the Lord also takes away. Again, we can only see uh, what we can see, this world that we can see around us. But God's perspective is much, much broader than that. And that's who we follow. And we are blessed as we follow Him. We don't have to be sort of tossed about by things that happen every day. Because we have the confidence of knowing that God is with us whenever um, may come our way. This is the biggest uh, joy and blessing we can have. It's a security in knowing that we're given exactly what we need and all that we need um, in this time. And the Bible promises that we will receive what we need um, in God's good timing. The blessing that God promised to Abraham and also to us is not just something for us to hang on to for our, our lives. Just like the uh, blessing of Abraham, the, the blessing that Abraham received uh, sort of spread to Isaac and to Jacob and to Joseph, his descendants, uh, so we need to pass on our faith and our blessings to our children and their children. So let's take a look at verses 20 to 22. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau in regard to their future. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of Joseph's sons and worshipped as he leaned on the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when his end was near, spoke about the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt and gave instructions about his bones.
来週は洗礼式になります。献授式もこの夏何回か予定されています。洗礼というのは自分を捧げます。ま私はもはや自分のものではなく神様のものですという信仰の告白です。Baptism is sort of an outward expression of、um, our desire to、uh, give ourselves to God, acknowledging that we, our own lives,、um, don't belong to us but rather to God.、Um, I wonder if you know what、uh, a child dedication is about. When we dedicate children, we are saying that these children. Are not our possessions、um, for us to hold on to, but rather that they belong to God. God brings blessings on parents who sort of follow the example of、um, Abraham, who was willing to、um, give up Isaac's life、uh, on God's command. <coughs> その両親の信仰が子供たちの祝福につながっていくんです。And this faith that parents demonstrate、um, upon dedicating their children、um, leads to blessings not just for them and their family, but also for their children、um, and beyond that. ある人は自分の益のために子供を求め、子供を育てます。I think people have children for many different reasons. Some people have children、uh, because of You know, they want them, and it's, it's sort of for the parents. <laughs> <laughs> like you have par-、uh, kids, you know, so they'll take care of you. <laughs> Some parents use their children as wish fulfillment, so you know, I, I couldn't be you know, this profession, so I want my child to grow up to be whatever. <laughs> I think all of those are actually.、Um, Missing the mark. God is more aware of what, what this child's life will hold、um, beyond what the parents can comprehend. God might have your, children,、uh, or your child become、um, a lawyer rather than a doctor. Uh, God might call your child to do something that doesn't have as much、um, sort of social status as either of those. But really, more than anything, what God desires is that we raise children to be people who love and follow Him. Not for us. Not for our respective countries. かつてこの国ではそのようにして子供を育てなさいと言われました。I think、uh, in this country certainly、uh, there was a period where parents were encouraged to have children、uh, for the benefit of the country. 子供を見育てることがこの国を強くするんだというふうに教えられた。Um, and people were told that, that Japan will become stronger if you have more children and raise them well. And I think that that's sort of a, a war mentality, having, having more children、um, will be better for the country. But God doesn't、uh, give us children、um, to build up an army. He gives us children so that they can learn to walk with Him and to bring Him glory. They are people who are going to、uh, carry out God's work on this earth. Finally, 
I want to touch briefly on um, sort of Joseph's instructions here in verse 22 about uh, his bones. Um, and it doesn't say in the English version, but uh, that more specifically he wanted his bones to be taken out of Egypt and not be buried there. Uh, at that time, Egypt was sort of uh, central um, in the world. And certainly uh, the model of, of wealth and of, of um, prosperity in that time. This is slightly different than the Egypt of uh, the time of Moses. Uh, because at this point, um, Jews had sort of a more of a status um, in Egypt. And this is because uh, Joseph had a position of authority in the government then. And so certainly he had a lot of uh, status and a lot of respect. Had Joseph chosen to be buried in Egypt, he really um, he, he was of such status that he could have probably gotten a really big state funeral with, with a lot of pomp. But Joseph, um, at his core, didn't associate himself with sort of this powerful empire, um, this, this uh, sort of visible world. But he was always aware that he was um, a part of a, a bigger kingdom, the kingdom of God. The same is true for us. Whether we are rich or we're poor, we're all sojourners and, and um, travelers in this world. And I think we all experience uh, inconveniences and, and troubles uh, because of the fact that we're just traveling. Uh, in our church, we have a lot of people um, who were not born in this country. And I think you know firsthand how inconvenient it is um, sometimes to live in a country uh, where you were not born. But I think I can say that even for those of us who are Japanese, um, we are still travelers and we're still sojourners um, here. So even though um, we, we face troubles and inconveniences, um, we have a passport, uh, so to speak, that Far, far outweighs um, those inconveniences. Uh, and this passport that I'm calling a passport is, is a citizenship um, for God's kingdom. Uh, passports are sort of a commitment by the issuing government that um, while this person is traveling, this government will do everything in its power to help that person should the need arise. And so in terms of this passport, if you will, that God gives us, um, it's a demonstration of God's commitment to help us and to support us. I think this passport is more valuable than any other passport um, from an earthly government. Um, and this passport helps us to do things uh, that we can't do in our own strength. Elizabeth says the following words um, right after uh, she called Mary blessed. Um, and this is found in uh, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1. In closing her blessing, she says, Blessed is she who has believed 
that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. What God has fulfilled or has said over each of us and promised to each of us will be fulfilled. And I think sometimes we feel insecure because we don't know all that God has promised us. But when we choose to follow um, and when we make the decision to follow God with our lives, um, He guides us in the way we should go. And, and God may be saying to his angels, um, I'm going to bring blessing on those people. And, and it's very individual, so the way that he blesses is different and sort of tailored for each person. And whether we hear or understand the words that he speaks over us, um, God's words over us will surely come to pass. God wants us to lead a life that's blessed um, and, and blessed through this faith that freely gives of what we have. And beyond that, he desires for us to um, pass that blessing on to the next generation. So this is why we have baptisms and this is why we dedicate children. And, and this is why I think that um, in two weeks we'll have an opportunity to think more about uh, children. And we're going to have a workshop for that. And so I'm hoping that we can uh, continue to think and pray about how we can pass this faith on to the people who come after us. お祈りします。どうぞ。感謝します。あなたが一人一人のために全てのものを作ってくださり、良い計画を与えてくださったことをありがとうございます。God, we thank you that you created each of us and that you have a good plan for each of our lives. God, we're so easily influenced by the things that we see around us and we're um, sort of unable to trust that your plan for us is the best. But we believe that you have a much uh, bigger perspective, a wider perspective than we do, and, and that you indeed do know what is best. Thank you that we uh, that you have a plan, a good plan for each of us. And I pray that you would bless each person here. I pray that um, each person here would be able to continue walking with you. God, please guide and bless each person. Amen.